Hey folks, in this episode I'm going to show you add-on that comes shipped with Blender. You're going to have to enable it. Without it, I go Shift A, Add, Curve, and as you can see, this is the options that we get. We go up to here, go to Edit, Preferences, go to your add-ons, type in Curve in the search bar, and then enable this option here, Add, Curve, Extra Objects. Okay, from here I'm going to add a mesh plane. I'll then go to edit mode, I'll scale that down by 0.1, go out of edit mode, and then I'll drag that on the x axis to around about there, and then shift D, drag it on the x axis to around about there. I'll then select this one, shift select this one, go to front view, and I'm going to hit shift A, add curve, and we'll go all the way down to knots and catenary. Now this is going to add like fake wires, it's a quick way to add wires to your scene from one point to another whether it's a sci-fi scene, telegraph poles, you know the drill. It's fairly easy to use so we're going to adjust the bevel radius so this is how thick it's going to be. If you look at the ends it's just sort of like squares and you can increase the bevel resolution so it's nice and round. I'd keep that low. You can always add a subdivision surface on it a bit later on. You can also change the settings down here. This A value will change how gravity will affect that wire. These are particularly good when you use them with array modifiers as well. The steps is how many control points it has. So to give you an example, I'm just going to turn this randomize up. It's going to randomize the thickness of each point on the curve. The more steps, the more points you have on the curve. If I just get rid of the bevel radius a minute, we're going to edit mode. As you can see, there's three control points. One, two, three. I'm going to delete that. I'll select that plane, shift select this plane, go to front view, shift A, curve, and we'll go to knots. And we'll add the catenary again. Now if I add 32 control points, I'm going to edit mode. There's now 32 of these control points. Let's just add that again, select that, shift select this one, shift A, add curve, and go to knots, catenary. The bevel radius is the radius, I'll turn the randomise down a minute. Also the resolution, no sorry, the bevel resolution is, you know, if it's round or square. Of course you've got the extrude function, you can choose between bezier or poly. They're poly control points instead of bezier control points. Bezier is a lot more versatile. Now we've got a twist function on here. At first it might not seem like a twist. So we go to tangent. It creates these twists on every single control point, 32 segments. And then if we gradually increase the smooth, we can even out the twist between each control point. If we get it right, then it should kind of look like the whole thing's kind of twisted round. That's if you want to kind of go for that look. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. The second thing for extra curve objects, this is a good one. So we're going to add a mesh cube, I'll go into edit mode, and then I'm going to scale that up by say 5. Okay, go out of edit mode, and for this one I'm going to hit Shift A, add curve, we'll go back to knots, and we're going to go to bounce spline. This is one of my favourite ones. With a bounce spline, as you can see, it bounces the curve splines all around the volume of the cube. I'm going to turn this down to maybe 100 so we can see what we're doing. Again, we've got the bevel radius, so that's the thickness. As you can see, these aren't really smooth, but if I turn the resolution up, it will smooth it out. Of course, that's going to increase your um, render times. It's not too bad. I'm going to set that to 32. Angular noise. So that's how much noise determines the angle of the actual bounces themselves. So if you turn that down to zero, obviously there's no angle. You turn it up, there's going to be more angle. And then I think the default value was 0.25. Randomize again, that's the thickness of the curves. We can change to poly here, and this will create straight lines, like straight cuts. As you can see, we go back to Bezier. Maybe I'll turn up the amount of bounces to 250 bounces. You've also got this offset which will offset the curve outside or inside the box because sometimes as you can see these um, curves poke outside your cube and sometimes you might not want that so we'll take the offset inwards or we can take it outwards maybe take it in just a slightly oh hang on wrong one 
we'll just take it in slightly. I haven't really figured out what this extra does. Maybe that's better with poly. And the good thing is with this, you can actually animate it. It's pretty cool. If I get rid of the cube, we can go into curve options over here. We'll go into geometry. We can change the thickness. In fact, we don't even have to have a thickness on there. We can actually have ribbons if you wanted ribbons, for example. But we'll just increase the depth on this one. Okay, so you can animate this. So here, you've got the start and end values. I've actually used this with quite a few things. Maybe the end value at frame one will be zero, and we'll take it all the way to the end, last frame, 250 frames. We'll take that to one, and then when I push play, it will draw the object. Quite cool. You can actually use this with any volume. If I select Icosphere, for example, Go into edit mode, S, 10, and then hit shift A, add curve, and we'll go into knots and bounce spline. As you can see, we've got a bounce spline there. Turn the bounces up or down. Let's go back to a thousand. Oh, we'll add a zero on the end there. And again, you can change all these settings. You can turn it into ribbons, change the thickness, so maybe 0.05 make it a bit thinner change the resolution I'll keep it rather low and your start and end factor here okay that's it for this tutorial it's just a short one I just wanted to show you these features because they're pretty cool they make light work of a complex task let us know what you think in the comments thanks for watching